allergies. the deal here is my battery out my battery's out on the old uh, laptop here oh nope All right, I think. I think we were trying to get the cops. Oh yeah, we we're trying to do the, the drum thing here, huh? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it was not very intuitive. <laughs> My battery's dead on my damn mouse. Which is really weird, because these are... Thought... <sighs> thought they were going to be nice batteries. Oh, they're like corroded or some shit. You're just gonna scratch them up a little bit. These batteries should have like a way long life from right now. Well, let me get some new batteries. All right, let's see if this works. Oh. Okay. I guess these batteries are bad. Do these batteries not work in this? <clears throat> let's see if we can get it to work here. That's freaking weird. Huh. Well, if the batteries freaking work. Oh, I bet I just hadn't loaded up long enough. I bet you that's what it was. No? What in the absolute? Okay, we're just gonna get rid of these batteries. Oh no, that means that they probably ruined the contacts in here too. Asshole. So, no, I don't really care which ones are which. It did, it screwed up the contacts. I need to like clean those contacts at some point then probably. So, whoops. So these Rama drums, we need to figure out how the heck to do them. I think what we're we're doing is a Rada, yeah. So he's like trying to. The only thing I found was that it just said call conclave. Dad, 
seems like too many phrases. There are no phrases to erase. I don't think I understand. The fuck is this new symbol, Microsoft Edge? Get out of here. That's right, I was trying to mess with this and that's when I got, that's when my buddy came over. So let's see. <sighs> you turn the page. Son of a bitch. That's what we were missing. I never noticed that you could change, turn the page. Okay, 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 okay. So call Conclave. <sighs> well, let's get out of here. Gabriel. Okay. Oh. Okay, three of the lower ones and then an M. Boom, okay. So now we're looking for it's gonna start with a W. A w two underscores and another W is tonight. And the next thing starts with an A a goofy H. So goofy H, and then a W, and then two of these, and then that. Hmm. Oh, perfect. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. The bayou. I didn't know you could change the page. So annoying. So, so annoying. Okay. I thought I clicked. Oh, I must have interacted with that guy walking by. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay, so there's the bayou. Okay. But uh, did we already get. Did we tell that vendor to go back to the cop shop? 
I should have just gone to the cop shop right there. Okay, so so he's gonna be at the police station. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. Because last time I think it like didn't give me a chance like while they were out. Hey. What? <clears throat> Grab me three or four. What? Forget rat. You stay put. Aha. Last time he like went out and back in. Like boom, boom. <sighs> Damn it. So maybe maybe what I have to do is I have to when he goes out I have to go into my inventory and grab the uh <clears throat> grab the key and use the key on the door while he's outside. But you only get like a split second. The bottom of the screen is uh, was flashing for a little bit. The desk sergeant looked in other words. Like, are they gonna go back out for another one? Can we? <sighs> I think we should talk about what's going on. I don't. Got us. I'm here. What? Tell me about Yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay. So let's go back here. <clears throat> and we go to this. And it was Call Conclave tonight at the swamp. Hmm. There we go. If and then we get out of there. Get out of here. I might even save it down here. <sighs> Allergies are kicking my ass. Okay. So we're gonna save it. We'll save it as day 6.5 still. Since we're trying to get into the dang cop shop, we keep having issues. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> so here. Gabriel can't do anything. Fuck me! Door. He barely goes out.
sleep. Let's try this again. This fat asshole. As he mean to bomb pop. Okay, so we're gonna open the door. You got no business. <laughs> you got no sorry. We can barely get in there in time. I think the timer on this is wrong. So for instance, let's take... Oh, we can't move the speed down. Excuse me. We gotta keep trying then. Grab me three or four. You stay put. Did you fall asleep? You got no business, sir. Got a seatbelt. Oh. I told you it. What the fuck? I don't think we can get there.
Oh, it says you may have to use a CPU slowdown for this timing. <clears throat> I don't want to use a CPU slowdown program. <sighs> then I, I, I wouldn't be able to stream, probably. You know? Grab me three or four. You stay put. Fucking whore, man. Guy, he's back. Where? <sighs> All right, we're gonna try this, and if not, then we're gonna try this uh, CPU killer. Fucking whore bag. Okay. So. Oh, that was restart. I don't want to restart. Okay. So I'm going to try the CPU slowdown program here, real quick. And we're going to see what happens. Man. All right. So we're going to see what happens here. Okay. So right now, right now it's using it. So let's see about. Crap. Okay. So this is our CPU killer. Show the launch bar. Okay, whatever. All right, we're gonna... We're gonna start Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. <sighs> oh, I'm dying. Oh my god. I heard you to kill me. Okay. So let's do this. Let's restore day six one five, okay? And we're gonna We're gonna alt tab. X out of this. X out of this. We're gonna start it.
Grammy to play use. Nope. Didn't do shit. Fuck, I think I've had six core. <clears throat> well, CPU is 16, so I have an eight core. <clears throat> uh... Let's go start, stop, increase, and decrease. Uh. <clears throat> okay, we've started. Like it. Hey, it's a beignet guy. He's back. Where? <laughs> Grammy three use. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm using a program to like slow down my CPU and I can't figure it out. Okay, stop CPU killer. Save. <sighs> How stupid that we had to do that, huh? <clears throat> All right, be right back. Felt like having another bomb pop. <clears throat> okay. So, 
Here we go. Well, we need to get into his desk, probably. Loves of unsolved cases, perhaps. Mosley must have a million of them. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Mostly. Oh, okay. Bottom drawer. What's in here? There's a tracking device. Well, if I can get it, bud. This tracker might come in handy. Gabriel would prefer to this. Ah, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking for a restroom. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. DJ. Professor Hartridge said that in Wudan, a small ritual coffin is called a Sikhi Madule. And we told him to bring Seki Madule. Gabriel slips the signal device into the Seki Madule. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, just looking. I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. No problem. I'll just leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. Oh, I think we go to the swamp, right? Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Seki Madule made it <coughs> work and that this thing will work. All right. There's a blip. They must be here with the Seki Madule. Didn't he just come from that direction? Or did he? Gabriel can barely focus on the LED. 
Didn't he just come from the Gabriel Field? Damn Moses. Gabriel can barely focus. Gabriel feels so. Gabriel can barely focus on. When? Let's infiltrate this thing. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, mm. Brother Eagle. But first. Name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. Dambala. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Badagri. Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those are definitely pixelated boobs. What in the hell? Day seven. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the voodoo cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night she was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. But last night, Molly changed. She became someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I had my doubts about the Gettys. Did you know that they arrived in New Orleans in 1800? Just in time for the voodoo influx. I knew you were going to try to sneak into a ceremony last night, so I followed you. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at the circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. <coughs> Malia wouldn't hurt me. 
What about Tetalo? Tetalo? They were chanting that last night. <laughs> That's the name from Dunstan Jane. The woman who took the talisman. Yes. Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. Tetalo will be after you now. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. Uncle Wolfgang? Yes. He knows more about this than we do. Okay. I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Rice. It's that Sibirin, that Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah. Possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the <coughs> Why did she go stand up in the doorway? It's kind of weird. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and save this. We are at uh, day seven now. And uh, it's probably the wrong icon. Oh. Gabriel never has figured out how to. I can't look in my damn. Really? Okay. Better punch it in the old computer here. It's uh, 4909324333. Schloss Rieder, Schloss, Sie Schloss, Sie Schlossi Schlossis. Ein Moment bitte. Gabriel, so gut to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in his gang on the events of the previous evening. Oh, it is even worse than I thought. You bet it is. We have to talk about what I'm supposed to do. What can you tell me about voodoo? It sounds as though you have learned much during your investigation in New Orleans. Perhaps you will fill me in when we have a chance to sit down and talk. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I know only what you have told me. They seem to be very similar <coughs> to the killings in Gunther's journal. What can you tell me about New Orleans? It was just another American city to me until I started dreaming about you. Now I feel it is not safe for you here. I wish you would leave. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied the subject. I have an intense dislike for them. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I'm afraid I've never heard of it. Do you have any idea what Cabrisson girl means? No, what does it mean? It means goat without horns. It's a term used for human sacrifice in voodoo. Well, let's hope we can avoid any more of that in this family. <sighs> Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. I've heard rumors of a secret town fool here in New Orleans. Yeah, I am sure they have a temple there, and probably a very elaborate one. You should not go near it, though. Not alone. Do you know anything about animal masks? Yes. Tetlow's people wear animal masks for their rituals, don't they? It is not at all uncommon. Many occult groups are based heavily on animal totems. Animals have such pure, primal traits. Spirituality, good or bad, is about reaching these pure levels. Aggressive and cunning like the snake, agile and nurturing like the monkey. Even our family is associated with the image of a lion. Do you know anything about Veve? It is a visual symbol of one or more laws. Each law has its own sign, which is used to summon it. Have you ever heard of Dambala? 
Gambana is a snake. He is a Loa, a Vudun god. Yes, he's one of the primary Loa of the Gedi tribe. I see. Good work. That information might prove useful. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? It is a Vudun Loa, is it not? Yes, a particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most Vudun groups. I haven't come across very much specific information. Do you know anything about Black Vudun? My library contains many books on the occult and religions, and I have read about some particularly evil Vudun cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. What can you tell me about Shatten Jaegers? Yes, of course. <laughs> Sometimes forget how little you know the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schattenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schatten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow hunter. Do you know anything about Brada drums? Brada drums? You mean ceremonial drums? Yes. The Gedi tribe uses drummers around the French Quarter as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Hmm. Those drums have a ceremonial use, too. It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. I had Grace find some information on them. That's my boy. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel. After this... Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary lore for the Gedi tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. You remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's Loa during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful Loa than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Let's talk about the talisman. <laughs> I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings, and in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Schattenjäger itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Schattenjäger swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For defense, not offense. Since it fell into Tetlow's hands, I'm afraid to think what the power has been used for, or what it will be used for in the future. With the talisman, Tetlow has all the power and wing on. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Oh. We will at least be on more equal footing. How can we regain the talisman? We've been searching for the talisman for years, ever since we lost it. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. The talisman is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her lore so much power. How would we find It's gonna be in a damn graveyard, isn't it? Cemetery. Ha! <laughs> we have pondered that question a long time, the Rickers. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe at their current location. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetlow's African homeland, but Gunther says so little in his journal about her tribe, and slaving records are practically non-existent. Also, Tetlow's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. 
As for the other idea, we had no clue as to where Tetlow's people went after fleeing Charleston. Until now. Let's discuss the possible African... <coughs> All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him, he thinks the tribe's name was Agri, and that they lived near the Fon tribe in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. That is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetler's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine shot in here then, but only if you're not dead. Sure, I'll wait. Bye then, Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Goodbye. Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter. Better get some coffee. Always gotta have my damn coffee. I hate coffee. Mmm, good coffee. Wait, no. Times pick a hue, dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparent various people call the newspaper with stories. Some folks claim it's the ghost of my Gabriel's horror. Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of the God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. <laughs> I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. Dun, 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 dun. You know we're going to the damn graveyard. Cemetery, cemetery. That's to leave. We don't want to do that. Okay. Go back on here. Okay. So that's that's just the wall. Okay. We have a ceiling. Oh. Broken lamp. Someone's broken the light in here. Okay. That drawer is marked with a pattern like the veve. Oh, okay, let's open it up. Mosley. Shit, I dropped my flashlight. Huh? Oh, 
was that? There's a wallet in the drawer. There's no... Gabriel Oak, some ID belonging to Mosley and an American repressed card. Mosley's American's repressed card. Supposed Ready. to express. <laughs> what a concept. It's hilarious. Okay. So now. You got a credit card. The guy did say whenever we get in trouble to go to his house. about you for good reason apparently what happened D do you need a doctor nothing you want to know about and no just some aspirin Gabriel this is nuts you have to get out of New Orleans no kidding okay Thomas, Wolfgang called while you're out he said and I quote tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for it's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you going to do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. There's nothing written. The card has more... Mosley's wallet. Mos. Hot. The re. The letters. It was sent from a place. The let. The only thing that gave. Wolf. Dear Gabriel. Got. Gabe. I have. I'm on try to keep the note the news it includes the number written we'll see the world travel agency and it's and it's bold five eight five one one three zero Hello. See the World Travel Agency. How may I help you? How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see. The best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. What would you like to do? Charge it to my Americans repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty, Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his ticket at the New Orleans International Airport. <laughs> Dang. 
Supposedly dead. Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great, but how on earth could you afford it? A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh my god. I wouldn't like the sound of that either. I'll miss you too, Grace. Bye, Gracie. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. What up, Hot Cyrus? Yeah, man, you missed a little bit. You missed a little bit. Uh, but you're busy streaming, so that's that's cool, man. That's yeah, cool. Oh, dang. Schloss Ritter. Holy smokes. Wolfgang? Hello. My name is Knight. Gabriel. Herr Knight, oh, kommen Sie bitte, Herren. I mean, come in, please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. Oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight, Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please. This is your home. You are a rich, no? I am just doing some work. I will continue, and you may make yourself comfortable. If there is anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, Miss... Uh... You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Shucking potatoes. If I just sit here, it's like I'm forcing her to keep working. <laughs> what she got going on? There's like a bot. Okay, salt. Young and quite attractive. <laughs> so, what do you do when you're not puttering around the castle? Every day I go to Hüttesburg to do the daily shopping and uh, visit my friends. Can I yeah. <sighs> She's probably not going to know about any of this. <sighs> Tell me what. As Wolfgang may have told you. Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjägers. It is a kind of priesthood, though not <laughs> as restrictive as most. Dang, girl, are you trying to find out? Wolfgang. What would you like to know? Holy shit. Where do you think Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to go be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years, and now this. Do you know when he'll be back? I only pray he will be back. Before he left, he said, Schloss Ritter now belongs to Gabriel. It worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. <laughs> what is Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man, the best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? His only son died in infancy, so there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do just to hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. 
What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. You're right, Gerda. I apologize. Forget I asked. Can you show... How do you know about his... When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some... Ah, yeah. A good... You see, I have never been in it. I see. Just tell me. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Oh. As you like. Tell me so. I can tell you what they say in the village. What I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the riddles are a little, how do you say, tragic, to be pitied. They say that the riddles were chosen by God to fight evil, but something happened. One of them was cursed, and so the riddles lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see? Without the power or magic they once had. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries. No one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted, though, even though the castle is in desperate need of repairs. But to him, this ground is sacred. Tell me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersburg, the village below the castle. Guess we go upstairs. Take me back to the 20th century, please. There's a small pe Gabriel tastes the soup. There's nothing that Gabriel wants to taste. There's not. This scroll looks interesting. What did I just grab? St. George, patron of the lie, upon my to set my feet upon thy road. Just the heck? It looks like Wolfgang uses. <laughs> the door leads back. Near the bear, near the bear, near it's the biggest bear at the foot of the bear. Wolfgang's bedroom would hold Gabriel's at the head of a lion. The portal, portal says? Near the Rheinstadt Passieren, Thiessen's parrot is Rhine be black. Thiessen's veiler rein wie Führer schreitet Hörner durchs Portal. Okay, well, we don't know what that is, but what else? We go through here. This looks like a way that we can go. Or towards us, I guess. Oh, yeah. A magnificent stained glass window depict three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel cannot determine what their purpose might be. Three pounds. There are pews on a plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushion near someone has to light those candles every day. <laughs> the altar is a place of prayer. 
Okay, is there anything on the altar though? No, there's not. But there's a symbol. A plain wood. Oh no, I already said that. Aha! Portal poem. And, oh, and chapel what panels. Can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings? They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Initiation ceremony? Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Uh, yeah, she is. Shucking potatoes. Peeling them, not shucking them. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr. <laughs> The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding, a ceremony of intent and oath. You! Is there a problem, Hena? You said wedding. I'm okay now. <laughs> there are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English, it means only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass, he whose soul is pure as fire, through this portal passes higher. Great, thanks. It's interesting. Yeah, do you look at her? She's peeling them pots, them potates. Wolfgang left very recently. Oh, dear, they feel quite at home in this room herself. What a hoe. A gothic style. An incredible view. Open it. Didn't actually think. Oh, there's a, the window, there's a ledge. Thick ledge. And it's only slightly off color. Okay. It's a take me back to the oh, can I take the chamber pot? Oh. It's interesting. What are you supposed to do with the scissors? Cut your own hair? That would have thinking of the second chapel panel. Gabriel cuts his hair. I didn't even look at the panel. I hate this. There. That's plenty. I should have taken pictures of the damn panels. What was on the second panel? Let me go back and look. I'm not really sh sure I even see what how his hair got cut. What are you eating, hot sauce? You said you're going to get some food. What'd you end up getting? Second panel? According to Gerd, the first panel shows hands and washes. The second panel shows hair and the knife. Oh, cut your hair. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. Okay. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. Rice chicken beans. Hell yeah, man. Oh, maybe we already got a scroll. It looks like we cut our hair. Do we need to wash our hands? But what? Why did it let me open the door? We must have to go out the window. Oh, are we going to like walk along the edge to get to that other room? I got to dip out here in about an hour. Got to go do a... Another job next door. Can you like operate? No. Can you go out? No. Can you like? Oh, if you took the snow. If I took the snow. Can you put snow in the chamber pot? Oh. Putting snow in the. 
Why does it let you open the window? Uh, grab snow. Took snow. Operate. Oh. Oh, he's washing his hands. Okay, so, so he washed his hands, and then he cut his hair, and then you need the chalice with water behind it, and then you put blood in the chalice, and then you have the knight kneeling, and then the scroll. Can you, can you go through this door? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to go back downstairs. <sighs> we must be getting ready for the damn thing. So we need a chalice. Maybe just the chalice with the water behind it is just is just the chamber pot. Oh, is this a knife right here? A sword? A large handcraft dagger oh. hangs on the wall. It's quite old, but it's been polished to a high shot. Oh yeah, I'm taking that for show. For show. Didn't even notice that at first. This dagger. Is the knife of a Shatten Jäger. You may take it, Herr Knight. Everything in this castle is yours now. Including you? Good, give me that then. And salt is sitting in a way that just tells me I need to have it. Yeah, salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. <sighs> well, now we can cut ourselves in the damn thing. So let's get the chamber pot. Oh yeah. The third panel. Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. Uh, okay. So now we have to cut. Get to cutting. Put some blood in there, bud. Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oops, nearly hit an artery. Hmm. Gabriel. You missed something about it? Is like the salt supposed to be in there for some reason? Thinking of the third panel. Gabriel pours the Why? Because it's salt water? Into the chamber pot. Was not expecting that to work. So, did I have to cut myself again? I'm not going to. <sighs> Thinking of the fifth panel. Kneels at the altar and then. St. Joe, a pot is set. <sighs> Come on. Thinking of the sixth. Here we panel. go, dude. Gabriel reads the scroll. St. George. Patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. It worked. Something's happening. Ha 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 I did not know you were in here. Oh, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired, Herr Knight. 
Why don't you go to bed? Sure, why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. <sighs> That's a pretty sight. I just realized I haven't been doing Instagram posts at all. What? The dragon's coming for me. Your soul smells, what up, Vaj? I do. I do. I do always. Now and forever. How much sin do you have to burn? I have a lot, bro. A lot of sin. You have used people all your life. Never committed to anything. Turn back now, and I will forget that you asked for this. No. What? How you doing, Mr. Vaj? El Don Solo's ready with a party of 14. You can't do that? I'm trying to make an Instagram post right now. What's up, man? Thanks for the raid. Hot sauce in here hanging out. Vaj just showed up. Everyone's hanging out to come watch Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. We are currently... Like having a nightmare. This dragon's like talking to us. Sounds very ominous. No problem. Kind of waiting for it to stop talking. Oh, it blinked. Like, oh. What's it gonna do? Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm not... Dude, I have no idea what's happening right now. This is a crazy nightmare. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for that, uh, for that raid solo. How you guys doing? What we got in here? Squatch. What up, dude? Big hair three five six. Thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, day eight. Day eight. This game is uh, it's Gabriel Knight: Sins of the Fathers. It is a uh, point and click adventure game uh, from Sierra. Uh, it's a game that was made, um, like I mentioned, nineteen ninety three, and it's uh, Sierra made a lot of these games where like the graphics it's what's called a VGA style and it's a point and click interface so you can move your mouse up here and click on all these icons so it's a pretty old game and I've never played it before and I think it was just put on Steam in the last year or so so I picked it up pretty cheap I think and I finally just kind of felt like playing it I'm also playing through Final Fantasy 7 Remake right now um, which I've kind of not played in over a week but I will be playing that very soon here uh, yeah, I was going to post on the gram. I was like right in the middle of posting it up when you came by. So thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, Instagram post worked. I didn't even make it. <laughs> Detective, I think, solving murder. Yeah, you know, pretty much like L.A. Noir. It, it is actually kind of very similar to that, except this game was like somehow magically made like 25 years before L.A. Noir. <laughs> And there's also some demon shit. Uh, planning on what you want to eat. What are your choices? Let me help out. Vaj, you love this game? You played this game before, Vaj? Just eat me. Eat that hot sauce. Yeah, Sierra, man. Sierra. Yeah, they, uh, you know, Quest for Glory, Police Quest, King's Quest, Leisure Suit Larry, um, King's Quest, if I didn't say that. So they had some really awesome games, and this was always a game that I would see like advertised. In fact, I actually think this is the first game in a three-part series, 
And I think I usually saw the second game advertised, which was called uh, The Beast Within. So I really just had that in my head, like, oh, I should go back and play Gabriel Knight sometime. And I came back and looked, and uh, it's actually the second game I wanted to play, but I started with the first. So it's uh, it's pretty cool so far. I've been trying to play through it um, somewhat blind, but I've got a walkthrough guide uh, just in case I get a little lost or, you know, I can't exactly figure it out, stuff like that. I think that it's kind of boring to watch somebody, like, thumble fuck through a game forever, probably. So... Let me just type out this HTTPS real quick. Um, let's see here on the uh, on the gram, but yeah, did you wrap up your Pokemon there, Mister uh, Mister Solo? I have a bandaid on my thumb, so it's really hard. I cut it on my chainsaw. It's really hard to type. Gotta do all my hashtags, you know. Uh, like, I don't. Know, I like want to put like all the co like game companies of like the stuff that I'm using. It's a pain in the butt. I don't know. Like maybe someday this will pay off. I don't know. Who knows? Let's see. We got Logitech. We got Blue Yeti. We got Stream, Streamlabs. Uh, let's see here. Thumblefuck is my specialty. <laughs> uh, Beast Within is your favorite from the series. Awesome, Vaj. I hope I hope that we uh, I hope that we get to it, man. We should be able to beat this game. Probably not today because I have to go do a job in about a half an hour. I got to go trim a tree uh, for my neighbor. I told him I'd be by tonight, so I'm gonna go make a little bit of cash here in about a half an hour. Uh, I might wrap the game up tonight. Otherwise, I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're also still doing the donations for The Last of Us Part Two, which actually has been pushed back a month, I think, on the release. So the next game that I add to the games that I'm playing will be um, The Last of Us. I'm going to play that. So I probably will try to finish this so I can just be playing like maybe two games at a time. I'm getting busy enough in real life with all my side hustles kind of turning into a business that I'm having a hard time streaming as much as I want. So what I'm going to do is because I'm making my own business, I'm just going to go ahead and make my own schedule. So I'm either going to do like a every night from 8 to 10 or from 9 to 11, 10 to midnight, something like that. Uh, maybe you guys uh, th throw, if you you know have a certain time that I should be doing that. I'm central time. So right now it's... Uh, it's 518 where I'm at. No, it's not. It's got to be 618 where I'm at. Uh, anyways, yeah, let me know if maybe 8 to 10, 9 to 11, 10 to 12 would be better. But I think I might try and do it like Monday through Friday, you know, just like every weeknight. I went and rode, uh, rode my dirt bike yesterday for the first time yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Did I already save this as day 7? I did save it as day 7. However... Day seven was actually the last day. We're on day eight now. My bad. Whatever time works for me. I think I'll just tentatively say maybe like eight to ten. That way after ten o'clock I still have like some fun time for me to wind down and watch a movie before I go to bed. And eight o'clock is kind of when it starts to get dim around here or dark outside. So if I work from eight in the morning to eight at night every day, then, you know, I think that'll be... Some good, some good effort, including the weekends. I'll probably do a lot of work on the weekends. So, but uh, yeah, let me finish up this post here real quick. <sighs> Let's see. We're using Elgato for the Stream Deck. We're using uh, Windows. We're using Microsoft. I don't know. I just, I guess, I just feel like I have to like put all these hashtags in here for whatever reason. Like whatever one actually applies. We have Dell, and we have Acer, and we did we did Sierra, and we do uh, let's do let's do adventure games. Adventure game has fifty thousand posts. Adventure games has thirty two thousand posts. So we're gonna hashtag both of them <laughs> to get. Uh, let's see if point and click to get all of them. Does point and click work? Point and click is another thirty two thousand posts. Sweet, and then let's just go ahead and throw the old Duke Money sixty three in at the end there. All right, let me let me post this up here: Twitter, Facebook, share. 
<sighs> Sorry about that. <sighs> My damn uh, allergies <sighs> have been crazy. Oh, okay. So, Ger so is her name Gerda? Geta? Getty? She obviously left a key here. <sighs> Maybe she didn't. Maybe the dream left me my key, but we have this door that's locked. So we obviously need to go through the door with the key. So let's go. I don't think this is the right key. It's not. This is definitely the right key. <laughs> let's look at it. What's it going to say? <sighs> Tweet send. Yeah, dude. You got it, man. Oh, it's a big key. It's a big key. Play remake. Oh, lurk on laptop and not talk. I'm trying to stay away from that game for a while. Yeah. Well, I will play. Uh, now, when you say remake, you're talking about Final Fantasy VII remake, right? And not the Last of Us part or the Last of Us remastered. Is that correct? Holy shit. There's so many books. Big key. Yep. Damn it. Is it Last of Us or Final Fantasy VII? Okay, we're going to start looking at some books here. These shelves contain history books. Okay. Gabriel peruses the titles with interest. But nothing jumps out at him. Okay. These shelves, Gabriel, these journals, got something to peruse extensively. These shelves, con journals, diary, something to, these shelves, journals, something to. Can we take any of these? Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Oh. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts. Gabriel Both? Oh my god. You're gonna not talk if I play either of those games? Maleus Maleficarum, the witch hammer, dated 1486. It's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. I'm not sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. Well, maybe. Oh, okay. He's only grabbing one book, so maybe we need to look at all the books. These shelves contain books on religions of all kinds. Gabriel Peruse. Nothing jumps out at him. This part of the, the occult research material. These shelves. Gabriel looks at the title. These shelves. This a title catches Gabriel's eye. Well, that's probably pretty good. These shelves contain Gabriel Peruse's the title. There are books on Gabriel Peruse. Okay, so I don't think anything on the far right, but something maybe up here? Although it probably, it's a book on lycanthropes. Supposedly, there's been evidence of apparently <sighs> normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history. Well. Including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. <laughs> Gabriel would not. Gabriel is. Gabriel pulls out the book and titles. I think that's the one book we probably wanted to look at or whatever. Scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes. This area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomey, the Homies. The Agri. The book, The Primal One, by John Root, provides insight into these fascinating cultures. Gabriel is... Huh. Okay. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolf. I'm not sure. Gabriel does. Gabriel does. Gabriel. Did I even take any books? He reads about Gunter's. Oh, bad. Oh. Somewhere there's a new. No, no. 
Okay, so I haven't taken any of the books or anything. This family. Although it. I'm not sure I'm real. This. Gabriel. Although it's prob there are many forms of. Then, too. These books of. Gabriel pulls out the book. The People's Republic of Benin is the people. Gabriel pulls the Okay. Gabriel does Gabriel. I feel like we didn't accomplish a whole lot. We just like looked at some stuff. Uh oh, did it freeze? No. <clears throat> Well, let's go back downstairs and see what's up with the girl. Gre Geta? Greta? Gerdi? Gerda? She's still down here on those potatoes. Oh my god. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Fustuk, a good German breakfast. Please, feel at home. Hmm. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know anything about... He? Why, no, Herr Knight, I cannot say that I do. Where did the key come from? Wait, is there anything... <sighs> Whatever. I feel like we clicked on all the books, but like one of the books has to tell us something. Like That's the whole reason why it put us in that room, is to go find a book. Right? This is my journal. Oh! Maybe we need to show her... Uh, one of those... Show her that sketchbook. Like, we've been sketching in it and everything, but like, maybe we need to like show it to her. sketch her? Can we sketch her? I'm going to draw you. Paint a little picture. No. Oh, okay, you walked all the way over there. It is going to be this. Yeah, I've got it. You know this man? No. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, let's go back up there and see what kind of if we're missing a book or Maybe we're supposed to be interacting with the book somehow. I only thought about taking them, but maybe we need to uh, use an item on one of the bookcases. I do not know. There are books on so Gabriel recognizes that Gabriel takes that in contrast with the peaceful nomadic tribes of Northern Africa. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed in a perpetual why did this region inspire such violent behavior to un oh and then that's it that's gonna be a history book which is over here how did i not click on that book before though yes there we go so we're gonna we're like tracking these down now ancient roots of africa the ferocity of the tribes in the red basin region is traceable to their predecessors in Egyptian time, 4,000 to 2,000 BC, this region was ruled. We know a little about religion. Mysterious cult by the 
remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exist in Africa. See? So, yeah, I think this was religion, wasn't it? Religions and science? Seashells put a type. Yep. Okay, I see what we're supposed to do. Takes down. One of the earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god <laughs> was violent and terrible, and so became his work. The homeland of this ancient cult is... And archaeology was on the bottom right, right? Gabriel. Let's do it. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery. <laughs> Clearly, they were the result. I noticed that you modified the Duke money block, huh? Is that like a little? Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, the interior re this <laughs> is partially due to stringent government regulations. A double snake. Gabriel. Oh my God! It's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Yeah, now we can come down here and we can talk to old girl and ask her about the snake book because probably that is where our uncle went okay did my uncle go here. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? I know. We can use this credit card. Terrific! I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I get some coffee now? <laughs> Loves his coffee. Day nine. Oh, here we go. Only two days left in the game. Oh, there's the snake mound in the back. You want I stay here, right? The long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. Uh, maybe a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. Oh, sweet. We have control of the character, or the cursor now. Day nine. All right, so let's see here. Probably should have looked at it first, but whatever. has the creeping sensation he's being watched. An etched stone is on the wall. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eyes. 
from off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Why does it keep... Gabriel has the... Why does stuff keep... Making noise. Gabriel has the creeping sensation he's being watched. Okay. A shadow flickers in the corner. An, an etched, etched stone. An etch, an etch. A shadow flickers. The walls bear an ancient name. Vines. The walls bear an ancient painting. From off in the mound. The room I think the game's goofing up. It shouldn't be like constantly telling me that there's something happening. In the mound. Okay. Oh, and this is gonna be a ring. I can tell it's curved. In the mound, echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Okay, so what is this? A shadow. An etched stone is on the wall. Six, seven, seven snakes. An itch. I can't do anything with that. What is this? Is this a guy? Mummy like figures in Gabriel wonder. Can I take it? A shadow flickers in the Oh, it's stuck. Oh, okay. So let's go see if the first one was stuck or not. Oh, and what's that? Mummy like oh. Shadow. Gabriel has the creeping. This stone. Gabriel okay. All right. Wait. Gabriel. Should we look? Should we look back in here? In the center of the wall painting is a square. Okay. Gabriel has the creeping sensation. <sighs> In the corner, from off in the mound, echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. There's something else. Yeah, I think the game is confused right now. There's a blue rod. What are we? I think we're gonna have a hard time here with uh, with the timing of something, because like there's no way it should just keep talking like every five seconds. I think the CPU cycles are off again, kind of like they were when we were trying to get the hot dog vendor. It's shaped a little like a... A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Gabriel has the creeping sensation he's being watched. A shadow... A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Gabriel How many freaking are we Are we not all the way around the dam? A shadow A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. How many of these tiles are we supposed to carry? Holy crap. From off. So many rooms. A shadow flickers in the corner. A shadow flickers in the from off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Give so many of them. One, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
five, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's nine. I don't know whatever the heck that is. That's eleven. That's ten. Huh. From off in the oh, this is the start. This is back. This is back outside. A shadow flitted. <sighs> okay. The snake mound consists. Two snakes eating their tails. Okay, so we have this blue rod. We need to put a blue rod in a hole somewhere. There, that looks like a hole. A shadow flitters in the far I swear, these zombie things are gonna come alive. Okay, so blue rod. Let's read it and look at it. Okay, can't interpret them. Okay, alright, so what if we do from off the head of this snake rod fits perfectly into these from doesn't seem to do anything though. Oh Okay. From off in the mound echoes us. The rod fits in. An etched stone is on. Okay, so that last. So this is this is seven. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel. Maybe that's eight, nine, maybe. Ten, maybe. Eleven, maybe. Twelve? Is this one have twelve snakes on it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. From off in the mound. Okay, so nothing happened there. So this, I assume it's a clock. Twelve, uh, one, two, three. How come? Like, does it only work in the ones with tiles in it? The head of this snake rod fits perfectly in. Doesn't seem to do anything, though. Huh. <sighs> oh, we need to put the tiles up on the damn wall. That would make sense. I'm carrying the damn tiles. So, what do we say this one is? Three? So three. From it. Okay. A shadow flitters in the corner of Gabriel's eyes. Okay, so a shadow flitters. So this would be four. Uh, four. This Gabriel has the creeping sensation he's being watched. <sighs> Okay, this is uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. This, this, a shadow flickers in the corner. A shadow. F okay. So this should be six. One, two, three. This is six right here. Sensation he's being watched. Oh, six is the entrance. Right there on the left, you can see the entrance. So that means this is sev seven. This looks like a freaking door right here. So we gotta remember number seven. Seven looks like an actual door. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two. Uh, is this seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna have to maybe come back to seven. Yeah, this is eight, I believe. Two, two, four, six. Oh, that's seven right there. That's seven right there. Let me. From off in the let me go back. I totally screwed that up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait, did I? Did I screw it up? So which one's eight then? Okay, so I think this is nine. Four and five makes nine. Okay. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. What do we say? So now this should be ten. Okay, so two, four, six, eight. No, that's eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. A shadow. So that was ten. So this should be eleven. Gabriel has the creep. Eleven, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. From off in the mound, echoes of sound. Gabriel has the creep. Okay, so this should be twelve. Shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. An etch so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, exactly. So that's twelve. Uh, so this right here is one. So we have uh, that's not one snake, that's one snake, duh. A shadow flickers in the So that's one. This is two. Yep, there's two. So one didn't look like it had a door. Two doesn't look like it has a door. Uh three doesn't look like it has a door. Four doesn't look like it has a door. Five doesn't have a door. Six, yep, so we're at six, doesn't have a door. Seven has a freaking door. So I'm kind of thinking seven might be where we need to go. Oh. Oh. There is? Oh, yeah, okay. So obviously there's one missing. Seven. Oh, so this has eight. Apparently, this must be eight snakes. Apparently, right here. <laughs> Gabriel has the creeping sensation he's being watched. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel. Okay, so. From. I really think seven is going to be our deal. Let's save it though, just in case. In fact, I gotta kill it right there because I gotta make money in ten minutes. So what happens now? That's where we're gonna leave it. I think that's the door that we need to go into, which I imagine if we stick the blue rod in there, it's gonna open up. But yeah, I gotta go make some money IRL real quick. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I probably am gonna come back in and stream some more. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So thanks for hanging out, Hot Sauce. Uh, Solo, appreciate the raid, dude. I think we saw Squatch in there talking. And uh, Vaj, thanks for swinging by. Appreciate you, man. I thought, I thought, oh, yeah, Big Hair 356. There we go. Yeah, thanks, guys, for coming by and taking a look at uh, a really old video game. Kind of from my childhood, but not really because I didn't play it till now. Just my childhood era. So have a good night, guys. We'll see you later.